what's up youtube it's your girl and i'm coming back at you with another video i just made a video probably about an hour an hour and a half ago it's actually already uploaded to my channel i'm gonna try to show you guys yeah i'm a huge gabe and babe um gabe and babe tv fan always watch them but i'm gonna show you guys real quick that I just uploaded a video and I would love if you guys go and check it out. It's that first one right there. Let me try to get a little closer. Yep, that one. And as you can see, oh, I got one view on that one. But yeah, that's what's popping with me right now. But I was like, you know what? Let me come and make this quick video just talking. I guess this can be somewhat of a story time because I don't know, I just chilling. I felt like, and plus, I feel like I owe you guys a bonus video for not making hardly any videos last week. Well, I did, but I only got one out due to the kids being home on spring break. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and make this one. Um, I want to explain what, not explain, but just say why I don't want a baby shower this pregnancy. This will be my fourth pregnancy, if you guys don't know, but most of you do. This will be my fourth pregnancy, and out of all my pregnancies, I've only had one baby shower, and that was for me, Kai, and he's five now. And my best friend at the time, she threw that for me, and to this day, I'm forever grateful to her for that. I'm still grateful for that. But the reason why I don't want one now is because... Rocco, that's you. That's Rocco with the fresh cut and yeah, the belly's out. But anyway, let's get back to what, what we're making this video for. But the reason why I don't want a baby shower this time is because to be blunt and honest with you, you are in my video. But to be honest, it's because I don't feel like people will show up to it. At least the people I somewhat communicate with. And the reason why I say somewhat communicate with is because... I'm alone, baby. I don't really rock with nobody. Point blank, period. And that and that's that could be very bad at times, and it could be good at times. It's a mixture of both good and bad. And the reason why I say that is because, well, one reason that I can think of off the top of my head is because once I feel like someone has crossed that line with me, or I feel like they throwing shots or shade or whatever it may be, I cut that ass off real quick like i won't have nothing else to say like i that's just is what it is and some people i just don't communicate with it's just because we grew apart that just is what it is and uh some people let me see well some people just don't even stay in the state in jacksonville anymore um what else um and the main people that i'm talking about is like Huge portion of the people I'm talking about is my own damn family. That's just is what it is. I don't really fuck with them like that. And we all got the same last name. But I don't really fuck with them like that. Some of them here and there I kick the shits with. But not like I should. Like my sister literally stays up the block from me. And I don't fuck with her at all. And I got my reasons for that. But <laughs> the person I see the most is my brother. Um, And I have two brothers and one sister. But, uh, what else? And I am talking about, well, you know what? I don't really have a lot of friends. And uh, Matter of fact, I ain't got none. Let's be real. I got associates. I have, I have one best friend, but we hardly talk like we used to. I still miss her, and I'm going to always check on her regardless, because that's going to be my best friend to that day I die. I don't care what may happen between us. She's always going to be my best friend. So if you watching, girl, I still love me some you. But yeah, she matter of fact, she's the one that threw me the um baby shower. But um, but yeah, we don't talk like we used to. Still miss her a lot. And um, but besides her, I don't fuck with nobody else. I consider everybody else an associate. It is what it is. If you watching this, oh fucking well, I don't care. And there ain't no hormones talking. I'm being real. But I I say some are associates, but I do have actually one other friend besides my best friend and that's 
um, my friend Step. I call her Step, but her name is Stephanie. And that's just my bitch right there. And that's just it is what it is. She's damn near like, you know, like she's man. This girl done seen me go through some things, but yeah. But she's out of out of state, so she moved out of state. So I don't. Well, she's still in Florida, but she's like a couple of hours away from me. I ain't finna bother her about no goddamn baby shower. And plus, like I said, I don't want one. But the whole reason that I don't want one is because of that. I don't think nobody will show up. I'm being real. But um, all the things that I need to get the baby that I have, have I got yet? No and no. I mean, yes, I still need to get some things too. Have I got anything yet? Nope. <laughs> Haven't even started. Nowhere near it. And I'm five months pregnant. I feel like I got, I feel like I got some time. I still got time, but I need to be. I, my plan was for this pregnancy, and I got this idea from my best friend, was to, like, on month one, start buying diapers. Then month two, buy more di- It was just, it was a line I wanted to go through, a process I wanted to do. But, yeah, I do feel bummed out about not wanting a baby shower if that makes sense it's just i don't want to waste no time no money no coins no nothing on throwing a baby shower and nobody shows up that's hurtful at my last baby shower i think a handful of people came and um and i'm still grateful for those and when i say handful i, I think it was like four or five people but it was still fun though with though you know and even the people who came to that i don't think they'd come to this one then that's just is what it is some people you grow out of. That's just what it is. But yeah, that's why. I am a little... I don't know how to explain it. I am a little bummed because it's like... Maybe I need to come out of my shell and forgive people. But I feel like at the end of the day... There are lines you can't cross with people. And the phone works both ways, basically. But yeah, anyway. Um, the other day, I did make a Amazon baby registry. And I don't know if I'm going to put it on my YouTube. I don't think I, I don't think I will because I don't want it to seem like I'm begging for stuff because that's kind of what it seems like, I guess. I don't know. I made the registry because, I'm not going to lie, it was a contest going on where you could win like $2,500. And you guys know me. I don't even really play the lottery. Every now and then I do little scratch-offs. And I just love contests. Like, you never know. You, I might win. You just never know. I like the possibility, <laughs> even though nine times out of time I probably won't win. But in order to enter into that contest, you had to make a baby registry through Amazon. So I made one. And while I'm making it, and, I'm, and you guys know, I'm already an Amazon Prime member. So a lot of the stuff I was seeing, I could get it in a matter of a few days, two days at most, I think. And I was like, wow, a lot of the stuff. How can I say this? Let me go back a little bit. This, this video is going to probably be long. I'm not even going to front y'all. Let me go back a little bit. A lot of the stuff, none of my kids ever had, ever. Like, like I said, this is my fourth pregnancy. And none of my kids have ever had a crib or a, uh, what is that? Never had a crib or a bassinet or a changing table or bottle warmer, any of that. And I breastfed all my kids. I didn't breastfeed them the entire first year. It was probably at the most three to four months, but this one I plan on. Shooting for a year. But, um, yeah, they never had any of that. Never had any of that. I'm talking about God. But, and I just wanted with this pregnancy, because I really, at this point in my life right now, I don't think I want another baby. And I say think, because I don't control. I do control. It's my, my goodies. But I just, I don't like playing God. But as of right now, no, I don't want to. I don't. But it's just... My kids never had a lot of that stuff. I'm talking small stuff, guys, that matter. They never had it. I always had to improvise and make do with what I had. Always. And I'm tired of having to go through that. No baby deserves that. And at the time, I just didn't have it. I had my first... I found out I was pregnant when I was 18. I will say, technically, I was a teen mom. And everything I learned, raising a baby, I learned that shit by myself on my own. I was then near, um, uh, my first pregnancy, I was homeless. Yep. I got pregnant at 18 and gave birth to him at, uh, 19. Was it 19? No, I, no, I was, I was either 18 or 19. I had him at 
20. Somewhere, in, well, I was 19. I know I was still a, I know I was still a teen mom, but everything I had to, I had, I had to improvise. Like, when my first birth with Juju, which is Julius, I gave birth to my son alone at the hospital. Nobody was there. No family member, no friend, no nothing. I got dropped off, literally. My water broke in the hallway of the fucking hospital. I've been through a lot of shit in my life, so there's not too much that a motherfucker could tell me about that I probably ain't already been through. But, yeah, it it's just I hate asking. And what that has done to me is I hate asking or telling someone I need something. I'd rather, I won't say suffer, but I'd rather get it on my own muscle. So that's probably that's the reason why I probably won't put that Amazon baby registry on here. I kind of want to, and a big part of me doesn't want to, if that makes sense. But yeah, I'm not going to talk you guys whole head off. Who's to say if I even put this video up? I'm just running my damn mouth. But, um, you know what? Nope, I'm going to put it up. But yeah, that's why I'm not having a baby shower. Now, I'm not having a big old extravagant gender reveal either. When I let you guys, matter of fact, like I told you guys, I already know, I know what I'm having, but it's like an 80% thing, like my doctor said. I go Monday for uh, another scan. It's like an ultrasound. It is an ultrasound. They check the baby bones and stuff like that. And when my sonogram lady tells me, for sure, I know it's confirmed that it's what it is. So on that day, which is Monday, either sometime next week, I'll let you guys know whether it's a boy or a girl. So expect that video. Now, it ain't going to be fancy smancy either. I'm going to just come out and say it. <laughs> I kind of want to do somewhat of a giveaway with that. I don't know. But, yes, I will catch you guys in my next video, which will be this week. Let me, guys, let me, guys, let me know if you guys enjoy these talking videos slash story time videos. I know this one is kind of all over the place, me talking over myself, but. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos. And let me know what you think. If I should link, leave a link to my Amazon baby registry on here. Let me know if I should do it. Give me you guys' opinion. Because to be truthful, even if a big portion of you say yes or no, I, it all depends on me whether I want to do it or not. And at this point in my time, I, I kind of don't want to. But I still want to see what you guys think. But, yeah, I'll catch you guys in my next video. And, um, yeah. Peace. Oh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe because, obviously, it's free. Thank you.